Hi everyone, I'm back and I want to show you uh, my hair. <laughs> it's kind of ratty. Anyway, uh, I used to have nice looking hair. Anyway, uh, my sister's a hairdresser and she gets mad if I do my own hair, but I've been doing my own hair, cutting my hair, trimming my hair for a while and for many years. And anyway, so I'm gonna attempt to cut my hair again and uh, I'll just go through the process and uh, let me know what you think. Okay. All right, here's some things I like to use. Uh, a clipper and different size, uh, a little snap-on uh, comb and a mirror. And that's all I use and uh, I'll trim it and let me know what you think. Okay, first of all, I like to use number three. It depends on how short I want my hair, but I can also go with a number two. Uh, usually I go with a number two when it's really hot outside, so the sun's starting to stay out longer. Uh, but I'll try a three and see what happens. I like to do the back first. I'm not a contortionist, <laughs> but I don't know how I'm able to get my arm back there like that. So, anyway. Try to get it even as I can. All right, I got the big bulk of it out of the way. Now I start to do the sides of my hair above my ears and I just turn the other way and go from back forward. Okay, so we'll, we'll try that. All right, and do the other side. Hold it down, switch arms. It scares me, it feels like it's gonna chop my head off. Anyway. I just keep going around and around. Now my hair falls into the sink, but it's there's a bag there, so I put hair falls into the bag. I like to leave the top long because uh, I can comb it better in the morning.
right? Just go around my ear like that, a little higher, up, then around. Since I wear glasses, I don't mind if it's crooked there because my glasses cover that part right there anyway. So uh, sometimes I'll slip and go a little too high up. That's okay. I don't mind. Sometimes it's hard to see, but. Uh, I've done this a long, a long time that I'm used to where to stop, I guess. I like to do this side more slowly. Uh, I just go around and around and around. Go back around. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see that well. But uh, after this section here, let's switch uh, the clippers and see. See how it turned up? Okay. Not even, but... I think that'll work. It's, it's my weekend. I usually get three days off, so by Monday it's probably already grown back. <laughs> my hair goes pretty fast. So. I try not to push this too high up because I'll get a circle with this <laughs> little circles. I've done that before where I get circles in my hair. Then I have to go higher up to even it out. But so I go really careful. Neck is getting red here, <laughs> so I better stop. Alright, so uh, just go around to the front and then just do the same thing on the front. I usually don't like to shave on the weekends. There's no point unless I'm going out somewhere. It's always being home all day. I usually use a uh, different razor. This is just the lazy way. But I usually use uh, one of these with, uh, of course, shaving cream. And I just cut my hair, or shave up with that. I used to have long, straighter hair, and now it just kind of got wavy all of a sudden. Maybe the older you get, the wavier it gets. I don't know. But at my age, I only have a few gray hairs, which is good for me. I don't dye my hair. When I was younger, I would dye my hair, but. I would mess it up. 
So if you ever want to dye your hair, go to a hair salon. My sister says uh, they can mix the, the dye stronger to your hair. It's not just a one strength color. They have different multiple strengths. Anyway, uh, but I don't dye my hair, so. All right, well, this part's done. I guess. I mean, it's not the best shave, but uh, I also wanted to show you how to, maybe if you want to trim your eyebrows. Uh, I've done that before, uh, so I'll show you how I do it. All right, what you want to do for trimming your eyebrows is you always need a comb, one of these, and scissors. That's all I use. And you can see, you comb your eyebrow like this. You see it coming through here. Never cut your eyebrows like that, never. Just put the comb through. And just start trimming away. Through the comb. You don't want to have bushy eyebrows, you know, that's the way to go. If your eyebrow hair goes through the comb, then it's probably, they're probably too long. I don't pluck my eyebrows. Cause that looks really noticeable. <laughs> and unless there's a gray eyebrow in there, a little hair in there then maybe. Okay, when there's no more hair going through the comb, then that's, that's it. So if you don't want to have bushy eyebrows, uh, this is what I do. Cut, cut, cut. There. I mean, they're less bushier, but they don't look any different. They're just shorter. Nobody really notices. Uh, anyway, so. All right, what I also do is I pull my hair up like this and see how it, it's all uneven here. I just get the scissors and just trim, trim, trim. Just that section there to get it evened. And it just falls down. Okay, and I hold it there, and I let it go, pull this side, same thing, there's extra hair there, just pull, snip, 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 I mean I like it a little long because I can comb this down more, so, uh, yeah. <sighs> I don't worry too much about the back. I mean, I do, but not. I can't really get back there with these. Unless I pull it all up. Like, clip the tips of them, really. Try not to go too low. All right, so, I used to part my hair down in the middle. And now I just go to the side. But I start to notice baldness here. I try to go back towards the middle or the side. Okay, okay. so anyway, uh, I'm going to clean up here and... Uh, okay guys, hair is all done. Uh, let me know what you think. Some spots sticking out, but still let me know uh, what you think. And uh, it took about maybe 10 minutes. Uh, I'm on my way to the grocery store and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. So, thanks. Bye.